Section three of Ancient Ballads and Legends of Hindustan by Toru Dutt. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This section has been read by Rosling Carlyle. Savitri, Part Three. Death in his palace holds his court. His messengers move to and fro. Each of his mission makes report, and takes the royal orders low. Some slow before his throne appear, and humbly in the presence kneel. Why hath the prince not been brought here? The hour is past, nor is appeal allowed against foregone decree. There is the mandate with the seal. How comes it ye return to me without him? Shame upon your zeal! O oh, king, whom all men fear, he lies deep in the dark Metyaf wood. We fled from thence in wild surprise, and left him in that solitude. We dared not touch him, for there sits beside him, lighting all the place, a woman fair, whose brow permits, in its austerity of gaze and purity, no creatures foul. As we seemed by her loveliness or soul of evil ghost or ghoul to venture close and far, far less, to stretch a hand and bear the dead, we left her leaning on her hand, thoughtful. No teardrop had she shed, but looked the goddess of the land with her meek air of mild command. Then on this errand I must go myself and bear my dreaded brand, this duty unto fate I owe. I know the merits of the prince, but merit saves not from the doom common to man. His death long since was destined in his beauty's bloom. End of section three.